finally back at the range. It's been a while. And today, we're gonna do some fun stuff. I'll come down here and show you the, uh, I built a new 300 blackout rifle. I'm gonna see if uh, it's functioning right, try to get it sighted in. Brought a couple of pistols. I brought a 45 Colt, and a friend with me brought a uh, Breda M9A4, the newer one. But we're gonna do a test after we get everything sighted in. Gator Hawk Armor, made in 2007. So we're gonna see how bad do they degrade over time because they do have expiration date and we're going to see if it actually uh will stop a nine mil and a 45 colt uh 250 grain lead 600 feet per second i'm sure it'll stop that but then we'll see if it'll stop a subsonic 300 blackout i'm not so sure about that one um i bet that punches right through it regardless so anyway let's see how this goes let's see if after close to 20 years that thing will still stop anything <laughs> All right, so I brought some subsonics and I'm going to use them to shoot this vest. So they are um, Hornady 300 blackout, 208 grain AMAX, so not the, uh, not the most penetrating round in the world. Where do you want me to shoot it? Uh, pretty old with that. I, just wherever you want. I'm gonna shoot at the top of the, whatever that emblem is. Okay. Chamber one? No, I'm not sure what's going on here. I got another magazine you can try if you want. Oh, I've got another one there. I just I don't think I'm pushing the magazine out. Yeah. Just... All right, here we go. See what that looks like. So uh, it folded that thing up. <laughs> Obviously, we're just hanging it on the uh, the backer boards, but we'll see what happened to it. But you can kind of see how it's folded up. I had a feeling it didn't stop that. <laughs> Pull it through the. It did stop it. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. So, so if I was still working and using that vest, yeah, it would have saved my life, hopefully, except for the blunt force trauma. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. it it's all right. It's in there. Oh, the trauma plate stopped it. Yeah, trauma plate stopped it. All right, here, let's shut this off and we'll check this out. Okay, so we cut it out of the uh, trauma plate. <laughs> Look at that thing. Man, that thing mushroomed up. That's five eighths of an inch at least. And it's still got the ballistic tip still in it. So, and you can see it went in right there. That's just the carrier. Yeah. And that's just the carrier. So it didn't even get to the second level of, um, yeah, of the uh, Kevlar. 
Wow. But I think I'm going to shoot it with a 110 grain supersonic hunting bullet. Solid copper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what a solid copper does to it. Okay, it only seems fair to shoot the uh, 110 grain Barnes. What are they? The TAC TX um, solid coppers. <laughs> We'll see how that does. I'm going to shoot basically the same spot, just a little to the right. Once again, it did not like it. Well, it didn't push the vest in as much, so I had a feeling it penetrated. Yeah. Yeah, the vest didn't go halfway through the, uh, the back report this time. That was a lot of force. We were talking, it might have stopped that bullet, but I'm not sure if you would have appreciated it. So, all right. Let's see. Went through... There's the hole. <laughs> All the way through. <laughs> uh, let me stop a second. So move around to the back side and when you <laughs> there it when is, you, yeah. Well, my finger's not 30 caliber, but you can see it through there. So I'd be interested to find that bullet. But uh, so, yeah, supersonic solid copper uh, didn't go well. And I don't think I'll find that in here, even with that reduced. Uh, had to have slowed it down, but. So the lesson is. Don't bring level three to a high-powered rifle fight. But if somebody's shooting subsonic, slow, <laughs> 45 ACP type ballistics, it's probably fine. No. Maybe if I had one of my new ballistic vests out here, that would have stopped it, you think? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> my vest probably would have stopped it, but I, I have extra. Some plate carriers yeah. would be nice. Yeah, I actually have plates, so uh, yeah, wow. Let's see what pistols do. All right, now we're going to try pistoles. And you're shooting a the Breda M9A4? Centurion model. Centurion model, so a little bit shorter barrel. Um, what? Just ball ammo? Just ball and 115 ball. 115, cheap, okay. Cheap stuff to plink with. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot, like I said, my, uh, my Ruger Vaquero. It's one of the, not the new model, just a Vaquero. And actually I looked, they're a Remington 100 or 250 grain, round nose lead, 700 feet per second. So slow. <laughs> we'll see how this goes though. You're gonna shoot this far back? I think we should do seven yards. Like they oh, say, yeah. oh man, most, most gunfights are in seven yards. Let's see what happens at seven yards. Let's see, where did I put those two these ones? I turned that plate up, but yeah, I can put it. I'm going to try to put one just about right there. Just to see. <laughs> Let's see. We shall see if it's. Bullets in the in the plate. It's in, in the, the trauma, plate. trauma plate. Okay. So. Right where that uh, 208 grain Amax was. I'm impressed. 
It's a wonder our agency didn't make us wear these longer. Oh, my they, knife really matches. Mine. I keep saying that, How oh, You yep. should just give me that pistol. So. <laughs> well, you should just give me the knife. <laughs> Here, I've you want to get cut it out. Here, take the knife and I'll hold the pistol okay. for you. See this thing cut out. Oh, it's rolling around in there. Well, we know it didn't open up. <laughs> yeah. Can you... Let's see. I'm going to roll it towards this open... You're there down to that bottom. If it'll go down hole. that far. Yeah. Huh? It's migrating. It's it's not caught in the Kevlar, it's it's in the just the, oh, and the, the carrier the part lining. of the yeah. trauma plate. Where we cut out that AMAX. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Now I don't think these uh I'll shoot it with the um uh, 45 but being I don't think those are hardened lead so they may squash out a little oh this uh, oh it did uh this is uh, really flattened on this wow man this is the cheapest I could get at the time herders 115 grain from Bass Pro wow that, that impresses me that's crazy huh uh. now there's some still some tip left in there <laughs> Oh, that's from your yeah, ballistic tip. Yeah, tip. That, or, yeah, that, yeah, Amax. Huh. All right, let's go shoot. Let's step back and shoot with the 45. Let's stick us back in it. I feel a piece of something there. No, uh, yeah. Oh, maybe a piece of ballistic tip or something still. Maybe from your Amax. Oh, who knows? I think. It's hard. Don't cut my finger on it if it's a piece of... It could be from a piece of brass. Brass. Or right, copper. I mean, uh, copper from, from the, the jacket. Coming off. Yep. Well, it ain't worth getting out. No. <laughs> Not worth cutting your finger with either. No. Let's see. I'll turn it back this way. Yep. A little less damage in that area. I'm gonna shoot that gator. Oh, you shot him right. Right, hit that gator hard. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Here you go. I think I can hit it from here. Take it. You're, you're, where are you shooting with? You're gonna shoot it with 45, aren't you? Yep. Okay, whoops. All right. <laughs> so get it on target. Whoop. Am I? Okay, I've got it. You ready? Yeah. Lumbering and slow. So I shot down below. <laughs> I tell you what, so it did not penetrate past this, but look at the shape of that. <laughs> like, uh, how would you like that in your chest? No thanks. No, I don't think so. All right, where is it? Well, nope, there it is. <laughs> Uh, let me borrow the cut knife. Oh yeah, it's in this hand. Got it. Right. Okay. I'm not very good with this camera, so. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't bring Kevlar to a knife fight. <laughs> yeah. Still a little tougher than some material, uh, though. I'm just trying not to. There it is. I see it. Dull my blade on this uh, giant piece of lead. They always told us that it would help, but I kind of doubted it. No, I don't think it's going to help at all. And a stabbing motion probably would not uh, slow it down too much. Oh, man. Does it feel like it expanded? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, those were just lead, right? Around. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like a mushroom from the Smurfs. Yeah, there it is. 
Yep, definitely expanded. <laughs> Got a little piece of uh, cloth on it from the... Oh, it actually put the imprint of the cloth pattern into the lead. It's crazy. This one little layer is stopping all of it except that actual true rifle round. That's why. I... And we decided it was how old? It was made in 2007. 2007. So it's 17 years 17 old. 17 year old. I can't remember. It's, huh. I knew it was a very old vest that I had kept over time. And Crazy. I always wondered if it would still function. Oh, here you go. Watch this. Get kind of here. Show you how far it pushed that into the... <laughs> yeah. Again, that would... Uh, yeah, it stopped the bullet. Knock you on your but, back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd definitely be on the ground crying for mama because that definitely puts a hammer on that vest but you know the thing is it's taking multiple hits did you did it ever say how many hits they should take no obviously the more hits you get the more likely that will go through as it gets compromised but they told us at the time they they promoted this vest saying that it was designed to stop multiple rounds of the Winchester 127 grain plus P plus hmm. that they used to have, but. Well, it's stopping truly every handgun round. Yeah, I never wanted to test it out with it on well, though. You'd be gasping for air. <laughs> well, we can keep shooting it. Or yeah. Just see if it, I don't think it's ever going to fail, but no, we'll, we'll just keep blasting oh, at it. You still got your 45? Yep. Okay. I'm going to keep them. All right. So we got one more test for the vest. We did the 300 blackout, but we should do the 300 hammer. And if you want to know the difference, blackouts on the right, hammers on the left. So they moved the case up. It's longer. And so basically where the shoulder of that is, is the entire length of the case on 300 blackout. So he's gaining 250 feet per second more for the same size bullet that what I have. So definitely a hammer, but we'll see how it does on that vest once it's sighted in. Okay, vest, it's hammer time. Okay, zoom in whenever you're ready. I'm not sure where to shoot it at there. A little lower, you think, or? Uh, yeah, probably. I don't think it's going to matter. Try to keep it in the trauma plate still. I just shoot the gator. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot just on the bottom side of the gator there. Yeah, I think it went right on through it. <laughs> I do too. It, it didn't budge the vest any, that I could see. Well, let's go check it. Okay, let's clear this. Clear it. We'll go down. But all right, let's see. And it looks like it did go through right where I was aiming at the low part of the. Well, it's not in there. Or no, that that let's may be. sneak around to the other side. Hey, there's two big holes in it. <laughs> so. Moral of the story is don't be shot by a real rifle round. Yeah. You don't want to be hammered. Yeah. With the hammer. Yeah, went right through it. So, oh man. We'll take this off. Yeah. It's, uh, that. Yeah. It's kind of sad. That would have been another good old vest I have. Let's look at the back side of it though. <laughs> but it was worth yeah. checking out. And it made a bigger hole. Cause it, I think it did what you said it was supposed to do. It broke yeah. out. Yeah, it's supposed to expand and break off the, I think four Oops. prongs kind of, or. I'm trying to see if there's, no, it's just the vest. All right. Yeah, I just punched. Yeah, punched right through. I'll be done. Cool. Does not stop high power rifle rounds, even when they're low power, high power. <laughs> so there you go. Well, that ends the saga of the vest. And as we found out, 
even for 17 years old, it still worked on a pistol. Uh, and a subsonic 208 grain 300 blackout. But it did not work on the 110 grain blackout or the 110 grain hammer. So, with solid yeah, coppers. With solid coppers. Yeah, I think part of it is the solid copper business because uh, they penetrate more than lead anyway. So, yeah. Fun day at the range, though. Let you know if you can have any kind of confidence in your old vest. So, looks like it. So anyway, it's a great time getting out. I hadn't been out in a while, and so I'm really glad to uh, get back out in the range. One thing you gotta do is start firing up the reloader. I, I used uh, quite a bit of my 300 blackout ammunition today. I do hand load that. And so uh, if I can find the bullets, I will uh, buy probably 100 and start reloading again and get some more rounds uh, ready for, um, for us to go shooting. So anyway, hope you liked today. Uh, just getting out is always epic, and so, you know, anytime you can go out and uh, enjoy yourself, whatever it is you like to do, and live epically, I suggest you do that. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.